So there's been a lot of questions in regards to if Shopify works for artists. And as you can see on the screen in front of me, the answer is going to be yes, it absolutely does. And in this quick video, I'm going to go over some of the features and benefits along with some examples of templates and actual artists using Shopify to sell their art. So on the screen right here, show your artistic talents with the world. You can build, run, and grow your art business with free training, intuitive tools, and dedicated support. In case you didn't know, Shopify does come with a 14-day free trial. You don't even need a card, so you can just kind of mess around, add some art there, see how it would work, and make sure it's going to be perfect for you. I'll put a link down below so you can get access to that very quickly as well. With that being said, let's continue on and talk about a little bit of the features and benefits when it comes to having your own online gallery for selling art. You get learning materials, you get simplified setup in terms of 70 customized themes. Uh, they do have specific art website templates as well, integrated marketing, comprehensive support. And aside from that, some of the big questions when it comes to selling art. So where can I sell art online, which you might be thinking. You can sell art online from your own store built with a platform like Shopify, on third place marketplaces like Amazon and eBay, on niche websites like Society6 and Redbubble, and on social media and via wholesale. Can I sell art on Shopify? Of course, as we're talking about, yes, you can sell art on Shopify. Uh, Beckendorf Gallery is one example of a Shopify merchant that sells art online. What kind of art sells best? And Shopify is going to know this. They probably have a ton of data in terms of artists who are selling, but landscapes, prints, wildlife, nude paintings, postcards, and of course, posters. How do I price art? Which is a good question. To price art, total all the costs associated with creating your item and bringing it to market. Set your profit margin on top of those expenses and compare those targets to the competitive landscape. You can change prices over time to increase sales or profit margins. Now, here are a few art website templates as well, just to kind of give you an idea of what they look like. They have the Earth Spirit Metaphysical, the Ghostly Store, the Good Life Shop, and Gin and Sake Productions. Last but not least, I want to show you two great examples of artists who are using Shopify. First is going to be Nick Mayer Art. As you can see, it's pretty simple stuff. On the top is going to be the menu when it comes to latest prints, excuse me, latest works, prints, originals, bestsellers. They got appar apparel too for functional art, sign books, note cards, posters, and of course, giving back. As you'll scroll down, there's going to be plenty of categories based upon probably some of the most popular stuff where he's been featured, what others are saying, and of course, his story. Now, if I click on one of these, let's go to the seahorses. I like seahorses. And uh, you scroll down, you're going to see a lot of different examples of stuff related to seahorses. So overall, a great example in terms of art and selling other things as well. And for the last example, we have Matt LeBlanc. Once again, the menu is going to be at the top. You have art right here. You can shop art, you can shop clothing. So this is much more than just art. Obviously, you got clothing, accessories, portfolio, fusion, blog, and contact. So welcome to my world. A little bit about him. You can shop art. Once again, these are like the big categories. It's kind of like, what do you want to do? If you're going for art, you click there. If you're going for clothing, there. Accessories, there. Featured products, which is always a good thing. Those are usually like the popular ones. As you can see, sold out. There's a reason they're sold out because they're popular uh, menu on the bottom. But if you click on shop art, you can actually browse through basic price ranges. So let's say you wanted to do 401 and more. Here's going to be some of the examples that pretty much sell for that. Let's click on this just to give you an idea. And you're going to have the description, you know, a lot of things about it, details, sharing it, adding it to cart and so on and so forth. So yes, you can use Shopify as an artist to sell art. I hope this video uh, gave you uh, some inspiration and examples when it comes to actually being able to utilize Shopify. Don't forget, they do come with a free trial, completely free, no card needed. And that link will be down below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And that's it. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.